Python language and its importance in the field of machine learning and data science. First and foremost, before learning in the Python language, we need to understand why do we need to learn Python language. Python language is just like any other programming languages that we know, like for example C, C++, Java, JavaScript, R. But Python is very easy to learn and it offers wide variety of functionalities that makes us one of the best languages to learn for the field of data science and machine learning. Let's understand. If you are a beginner who is learning Python for the first time, it is very simple to learn and you can read the code just like English. That much simple it is to learn Python. You can completely learn Python in 2-3 to three weeks of time even though you are a beginner. And Python also offers extensive library support and framework support. What are libraries? Libraries are basically pre-coded logics that you can reuse in your workflows. You don't need to code everything from scratch. I will take some examples like matplotlib which is used for plotting your data set and numpy which will be used in the numerical operations and pandas the core of machine learning package in which we have data frames and key data frame operations and then we have scipy for mathematical operations and we have scikit-learn to do machine learning tasks and we have seaborn to have the data visualization in a better format and there are many other packages or libraries that are available for you to use in python programming language and also along with that python has a huge community support what does it mean by community support let's say you got stuck at some point during your learning phase or during your coding phase or whatever it is you just post it in online forum page like stack overflow or in many other or online forums that are available and you get your answer very quickly because there are a lot of people who are currently working on python and then python has huge integration capabilities based on python programming language we have other uh, applications like flask streamlit uh, which are used for deployment even kubernetes dockers th those are based on python as well and we have a lot of frameworks to work with and one of the famous framework is ipython notebooks what does it mean by ipython it's basically interactive python notebooks we will understand about these ipython notebooks in detail as we progress through this course uh, because we use that a lot in the field of machine learning and data science and one of the key factors that made python popular is it's open source and free to use what is open source open source is basically you can download the python and you can use it for free in your production level applications you don't need to pay any royalty to anyone and because of this open source and free to use a feature many of the companies or industries are adopting or switching to python these days almost every field is using python in one way or other and using python you can automate a lot of tasks as well and uh, coming to the last but important task is a lot of packages are available for the assistance in learning of machine learning and deep learning in python you don't need to code machine learning logics from scratch you can use the libraries that are available for these tasks in python and you can do your research or you can do whatever you want with the libraries because of all of these functionalities and capabilities python is the go-to language for people who are aspiring to seek machine learning and deep learning now we understand why do we need to learn python for the field of data science now i will explain what are all the topics that we are going to cover in this python series first and foremost we are going to understand what are identifiers what are comments intendations statements variables and data types standard input and standard output what are operators in python how loops work and if else loop while loop for loop break and continue and we have data structures like lists tuples sets dictionaries and strings and we'll also understand how functions work uh, in python like what are the types of functions that we have what are the arguments that we can pass to functions what are recursive functions what are lambda functions how we can use these how to build modules how to build packages what how can you do file handling in python if there are some errors that are happening during your code execution how can you do exception handling how can you debug the python and coming to the Packages that are needed for data science, we'll understand how to use NumPy, we'll understand how to use Matplotlib, Pandas, DataFrames, Seaborn, Scikit-Learn as we progress through this course. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and if you are liking the content that you are watching, 
please click that bell icon to get notified as well let's meet in the next video